I was doing a show this weekend, you know, selling my photographs, and I do natural waterscapes, landscapes, birds, flowers. Somebody came and saw some of my waterfalls and said, have I been to Cascade Falls here in Lycoming County? Because I got that zine, Lycoming Naturally, uh, which highlights various natural spots across Lycoming County here in Pennsylvania with QR code that will take you to the location where I took the picture. And the answer is no, I had not been to Cascade Falls. So she gave me directions on how to get here, and after a couple of missteps, I found it. And so here I am. Let me show you Cascade Falls. This is Cascade Falls. One person told me it's the largest waterfall here in Lycoming County. I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not. I mean, I've been to Jacoby Falls, so this is a beautiful spot. And it continues on down to the additional drop in elevation. So given this, I decided to look for the composition that I like. And so here's what I found. This composition does what I want. It's got a nice foreground element of a tree leading me into the image. It's got the waterfalls bringing me down. And it's got some action here in the water. Now let's see what I get here as I try to identify the exposure. I'm thinking I'm going to shoot at an F4. And my style is to focus on the foreground element and then let the background the waterfall not be the subject of the shot, but be the supporting background of the shot. I'm here, ISO 100, F4.0 for shallow depth of field focusing on the tree. And that gives me a half a second exposure, which should blur the water in the background. Now, as you look at that, what you'll also notice the, the crosshairs, if you will, of the box on the tree. That's my focus point. That's what I'm going to be focusing on for this initial image. And I will, of course, do a focus stack focusing on several different portions of the image. But that's my, that's my main focal point. So here's my shot. 